Hey y'all, this is Joseph with 3D Sports. Today I'm going to be showing you how I personally handle tolerances in Fusion 360. You can see the part behind me has to have pretty tight tolerances so that that black part kind of snap into the blue part. So I thought this would be a good way to demonstrate how I do tolerances. It took me a little while to learn this, but hopefully by showing you this technique, it'll help you with your printed parts. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoy it. So now that we're in Fusion 360, I just went ahead and made this sketch for us. So you can see here that all I did was make a center rectangle and then drew some circles for the holes and then I drew an additional circle around those circles so that we have a nice round edge there. And you can do a radius, but sometimes the math gets tricky to make those concentric. And then I imported this SVG from Canva. It's just a thumbs up SVG I found that you could download if you want. So this is the starting point. And now the first step is just to extrude uh, what you want as the kind of main portion of this part. So I'm just gonna go through and select all these parts. And I'm actually going to show you two different ways to do tolerances and hopefully, you know, one might be better for you. So this is the main part here. I'm just going to go ahead and extrude this whole part. Uh, let's do you know, negative three. And so now we have kind of the main body there. I'm going to go ahead and make it blue. And now I'm going to go ahead and extrude the kind of other blue part. If you remember the one that I made had blue around a black circle there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this. And then here in the center, let's just make that two. All right, so now this is pretty much the main blue part ready to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the first way that you can do tolerances. So if you click Q on the keyboard, which is also the press pull command here. So I'm just gonna click Q and you can see press pull comes up. You can select these holes. And if you can think of a situation like a screw hole or something like that, where you need these holes to have a little bit of tolerance so that something will fit through it, you can select all of them and then select, you know, like, or input negative 0.2 generally is a pretty good tolerance. And if you think about that, that's actually increasing the diameter by 0.4 because it's pressing 0.2 all the way around. So you're really making it 0.4 larger. And you can see that that's a pretty easy way to do it. And if you click OK, now if you measure this, it's 10.4. It was originally 10. So that's one way to make tolerances. And I think that that's pretty effective. And what's nice about that is if you want to update all these tolerances at once, you can come in edit the feature and then change your offset there. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that out as it is. So now this is the part that I really wanted to show y'all. If you project off of this face here, make a new sketch and then project with P, that whole face, you get this sketch. The way to get to project without using P is here, project. So now that we have this border here, we can actually use the offset command. And you imagine that if you're trying to make this separate body, it's hard to kind of make this without tolerancing, and then the offset really makes it possible. So if we select this border, now you can see that we can adjust our tolerance here. And what I'm gonna do is just, for example, say tall equals negative 0.1. And you can see there, that we're offset, we have a little tolerance there. And I've also created this new variable called tall. So this is just an easy way to make parameters in Fusion 360. And if you come up here and click modify, change parameters, and then you can see here that we now have a tolerance of negative 0.1. And so now for these other offsets, I'm gonna use that same tolerance Again, it's negative, so we can just say tall, enter. It might take a second. And you can see that it's the right direction because we have some space there. And then there's one more, which is this big circle. So again, we're gonna do offset, click on the circle, and then we're gonna say tall. And again, it should be negative because we have that little space there. And click OK. So now, if we extrude a new body, so I'm gonna click E for extrude, and I'm gonna make sure that I select the right profile, and go ahead and extrude extent to object and up to this object so that they'll be nice and flat. And then click OK. And I actually made a mistake there. I wanna make this a new body. So edit feature, and then operation, instead of join, I want new body because we're gonna print these separately. 
Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and change the color real quick. Click A for appearance and make that part black. So now if you zoom in, you can see that we have a tolerance in between our parts. And as you probably aware, 3D printers aren't perfect. They do have some variation in the dimensions. So this is really important. And the good thing about this is now if you kind of pay attention, this is you know 0.1 tolerance, but if we decide that this isn't tight enough or this is too tight, all we have to do is come up here, click modify, change parameters, and then we just need to change this one point. So if we want to make you know huge tolerances to say 0.5 so now you can see how big this tolerance is you know obviously we're not going to do that because that's really exaggerating the point but just want to demonstrate that it's really easy to change your tolerances now so typically I start with 0.2 so I'm going to change it back and I think really 0.1 is also a good thing to try sometimes 0.2 is a little loose but if you have something that it doesn't have to be super tight point two is a good kind of rule of thumb for most 3d printers so i'm actually going to print off three different options i'm going to do point two, point one, and then also a uh, basically zero tolerance so i'll show you all how those work now but what i wanted to demonstrate and also one quick thing that i also did for my part was added chamfers here 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 and this is just kind of personal preference i just think it makes it look a little bit better and more professional and also helps with like elements foot and different kind of defects you get with 3d printing i use 0.6 as a chamfer height just because that's three layer heights with my 0.2 uh, layer height setting so it makes it look a little more 3d there so that's two ways to add tolerances to your parts and now i'm just going to demonstrate how it turns out and hopefully you can use this for your 3d printing projects All right, so here's all of our printed off parts. This one up here is the zero millimeters of tolerance. This one is the 0.1 millimeters of tolerance. And then this one down here is the 0.2 millimeters of tolerance. And then you can see here by just how I place them. This one, as you might expect, doesn't really fit, you know, at all into the spot. And then this one, It'll fit okay if you kind of play with it. It doesn't really fit flush though, because it just kind of has a hard time getting in there. But if you really wanted to make this work, you might could, but I feel like it's a little bit too tight. And then this one, which is what I use a lot of times, is the 0.2 tolerance. You can hear it kind of click just then. And if you look at it, it's nice and flush. It has that nice finish on it and I think we can get a little better there. So now it's you know in the right spot. Don't really see it sticking up there. And I like making things like this where you have the black and the blue face down on the printer because you can see it has that really nice surface finish. So I personally think this is probably the best option for this, but as I said, your printer might be calibrated differently and might do better with a different tolerance, but this is just a overall way to make tolerances fit your different parts. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you like this video, and follow along for more. Thank you for watching.